Hello. Ah, hello. God, the colour's a bit dark on this. And welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Outdoor. Oh, well. I've just been notified that I'm doing a review on my own page. Uh, what's that about? So anyway, uh, this is different. It's uh, We're at the top on the decking. Uh, I'm in the quiet part of the decking where nobody from any other house can stare over and look at me. And uh, oh, obviously, if you're going to do beer reviews outside, and this is for all beer reviewers, really, you've got to grab the ball sometimes and uh, be responsible enough to know that you need to do your beer reviews outside. So I'll put live chat on. One thing I've noticed with this um, Chromebook is it's a bit blooming dark. There we go, live chat. That's better. So anyway, from tonight, from North Brewing. And I need to remember that I'm looking up there at the camera. There we go. Is that brighter? It wants to be brighter. Feels a bit bloody, um, what's the word? Not bright. So, this is, um, I'm on my Chromebook tonight, so slightly different looking into the Chromebook. So, North Brewing, 4,005 coffee, coconut porter, 6.5%. I have no idea where I actually bought this. Possibly was um, either the Nisa shop or it's going to be Morrison's, one of the two. Uh, fucking hell, that's a big bee. Fuck off. Bastard. It's getting the bejesus out of me. Um, yeah, so let's give it a pour. It's quite different. This is it's not been in the bare room. It's, um, yeah, when that sun does one, I'll be much happier. At least it's nice to be able to sit outside and enjoy the warmth. Uh, it's not the best part of the garden. The best part's actually down there where all the flowers and that are in the other decking area. But I am overlooked by a load of students. And um, although they seem to have gone out now on the on the beer, they've been sat there all afternoon chatting. Good evening, mate. Morrison's. Ah, right, yeah. And good evening to both of you. So, yeah, never had this before. Brand new in at Morrison's, as far as I know. And um, I plonk it there. The only downer is, because this isn't my usual... Well, you can see the can. There we go. Good evening. So, lovely black pour. And this is pretty much the theme of tonight's beers. All three beers are quite dark. Um, it's just one of those, I suppose. I've just gone for that type of beer. <laughs> Coming out of this chuffing cold... And uh, both my sons now have both got it, so they're not happy in one iota. Good evening. So I need to set the Chromebook up slightly different because it's very dark. You know, you know, around the YouTube screen. I don't know if anybody's ever got used YouTube to stream or anything, but the screen is so chuffing dark, um, and I don't touch anything. Good evening, Paul. How are you? I need to get my hands on both the new Castle Rock beers, the Attic Brew one before it goes out of stock, and the uh, the DDH Pale. So, let's have a sniff through this. It looks nice anyway. Oh yeah, chocolate straight away hits you the chocolate does on the nose. And you, de you definitely get that hint of coconut on the aroma. Very malty. Room temperature, so good evening, Craig. How are you? That was one late stream last night. I stayed up till, oh dear, I think it was about 11 o'clock to be fair. I'd been checking out to see if you're doing a live, and you wasn't at the time at least. So um, I must have got into bed in the end, and then bloody hell. Next minute I know it's three in the morning. <laughs> tell it, tell it's on, it's three in the morning. Still scared watching the 66 final. That's hilarious, isn't it? Good evening, Hop House. How are you? And that'd be awesome, Paul. That would be awesome. Second Hendo. Bloody hell, we're getting all drunk, eh? Fair play. I didn't really have a Hendo. A uh, stag do, rather. Married two weeks today. If anybody can see a stalker in the window, it's my 10-year-old stalking from behind. He'll get a bollocking in a minute. They'd be taking the piss out of me, which is what we do as a family, you know. We blatantly take the mick. And, yeah, that was some stream last night as well, until nearly four in the morning. And Harry, how does he drink so much? 
He's like a blooming fish. Oh, that's nice. That really is nice. Room temperature is king. Married two weeks today, you know, it was a scary moment. The funny thing about you being married two weeks today, um, tomorrow, just mention it at this moment, tomorrow's my wedding anniversary, so 23 years married, 30 years together on the same day. We we got married on that day because it meant so much. So tomorrow we've been together 30 years and the only woman in my life I've, I've ever gone after still love her to bits now and we i get on she gives me a bollocking now and again for drinking too much and uh, i totally understand that you know because i do now and again but it was a bit smashed wasn't they up oh, leeds next saturday sand see i kept away from stag twos because i don't want anybody acting the twat and you always get somebody who goes a little bit too far who thinks, yeah, let's time to a lamppost. Yeah, you time me to a lamppost. Then, one, I've never talked to him again. And, well, yeah. It's amazing that, especially in some of the bigger cities, how many tap rooms and beer rooms there are. These micro pubs, you know, at one stage you were stuck with like the big breweries, your Green Kings, your Marstons, Fullers, and, and the likes of them. And now, it's it's amazing when you were just in Nottingham. Do you know I've been to, I've been in drinking in Nottingham for 20, 24 years, thirty years, thirty three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get the right now. Now I'm fifty. <laughs> Serious. Goaty's reviews are quite good. He's a good he's a good lad. Yeah, yeah. I've actually met him in person as well in the years. He's sound. Um, but yeah, and. Only the last few times have I been into town and really discovered some of the great proper beer places. And I'm not talking where all the idiots go to pull women and all that and to start fighting. I'm talking about the pubs with the decent beer in there. That's not a cloud coming over my head. But um, yeah, cracking, cracking night, Nottingham is. Went in the vat and fiddle. Um, I want to go to Neon Raptor. Yeah, I do as well. Went in the vat and fiddle last week, last last Saturday. That was before I started getting ill. Uh, although I did have a slight cough. Went into the vat and fiddle and uh, it was amazing. Cracking um, to see all them beers. To drink Brian Clough on the bar in the vat and fiddle. And uh, awesome. Yeah, first time ever going there as well. All the years I've lived in Nottingham, first time. And obviously I could see the brewery and um, as soon as the brewery tours open up, I'm not sure if they have actually, but uh, I do want to go on a brewery tour. What I'd love to do is do brewery tours, especially the local breweries. I'm not too bothered about all the other ones. No, I ain't got in beer heads. No, no, I don't even know what that is. No. It's funny, isn't it? You live in Nottingham and I don't know half the places and yet other people have been to Nottingham and they're more than I do. Uh, but the people I go drinking into town with aren't really them sort of drinkers. They want the craft beer pubs. When you're paying big prices for beers, they only want to be paying three or four quid a pint. You know, I mean, they'll pay a little bit more, but not silly more. I mean, I remember paying six pounds for a pint of milkshake pale in the uh, Lincoln Chipotle on Mansfield Road in Nottingham. And I mean, I was it, it gobsmacked me at that price, but uh, they were all on like the three quid stuff. So it just goes to show you, you know. And yet now, my appreciation of craft beer, yes, I do appreciate the supermarket stuff, you know, and the cheaper stuff, but the, my appreciation of craft beer is, is, is massive these days, you know. There's some really good stuff out there. Is it? Didn't know that. Bugger. We're both in October. Right. Good evening. Um, yeah, I'll have to have a look there. Right. Bloody hell, how did we miss that? Because we'd already been to Leeds. We'd been to the old uh, Eight Sale Brewery in Leeds. Had six pints there. Pint on the train on the way back. Sand. That was a, that was a funny beer review. Funny thing is, the funny beer review, hardly anybody watched it. 
they missed an absolute classic. It was a proper funny beer review. And um, it's funny how that happens, but hey-ho. They kept to be, to be dis discovered in future times. So easy drinking, this is. Obviously, it's on sale in Morris Morrison's. I agree, Craig. That the price they are, they are, I think it's worth sticking to a third or a half. Yeah, because of the price. And because of the fact that if you're going to a tap room, it's got 30 beers in. If you're doing a third of a pint, you're still getting the taste, but what you are getting the ability to try more and more and more and sneak a beer reviews at the same time. 30 quid for the hops. Jesus, that's expensive, isn't it? But I, yeah, I do agree with the hops. The, when I was at Lincoln Green last week, they were saying the price of the hops is really expensive. And the yeast. price of the yeast is expensive as well. Now you understand why beers cost what they're doing at times. I do. This year, I do want to, you know, it's, it's a thing where now we're coming out of COVID, hopefully. Doing doing all the local breweries uh, tours, and uh, and hopefully snagging a quick look round, you know, and you've been able to use my camera, showing the rest of the country because the tours are okay for Nottingham people, but people from around the country are going to struggle, which is why I like a, a raggy tour of Castle Rock. Could you imagine that, where they just say to me, "Look, you've got twenty minutes." and do what you do you know you might not talk you won't be able to take the knowledge that we're going to do but fair play you know or even a guided tour with somebody from castle rock showing me around and then me asking a few questions now that is what i'd like wow and you haven't even got a big brew kit as well so that's 30 quid for hops for a small kit jesus christ now you know why Sometimes breweries keep the keep the hop situation down a bit. You've just answered the question for me, Paul. Why is that beer a fiver? And I looked and I thought, it's only 5.2%. Why is it that expensive? And, uh, you know, but I do understand, obviously, about craft beer as being expensive because, obviously, duty and cost of making it. But bloody hell, yeah. So it costs you 92 quid for the equip ingredients on a £125 keg. Wow. Bloody hell. It's pricey, isn't it? Pricey game. You ought to get your beer kits off. Um, you're brewing. <laughs> Do some amazing beers. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's just pricey. Good evening, Tad. Good to be doing a live review and sight in the garden. Wife's behind me, so the wife's at that window just there. And the little one, he keeps putting his head out just there. The bloody dog's probably there as well, nosy. And... No, he isn't. No, he isn't. I need to do a night in Leeds, I really do. I want to save up, but what I do want to do is save up the money for Nottingham, both in August when Craig comes up and October when the more people come up and go around a lot of the pubs and make a good couple of days of it try and get the wife to come along at some stage see if she will she might not but um but uh certainly enjoy Nottingham have a walk around do some beers yeah have something to eat and that and, and uh, go and see the different pubs around you know tap rooms and all that She's all right now. She's um, now. I'm not doing two hours down the shed. She's she's better. You know, there's there's limits in there. You know, so loving this going down really easy. I'm looking at the time though, so I've got to be careful. I can only do twenty minute reviews, and then I need to crack on with the next bit. Right. So because you're buying small, you're getting it in much lower volume. Have you ever tried? I suppose it depends where you are in the world. But, um, yeah, it's really nice. 
So I will get on to the beer with you actually, because last few minutes, and then we'll start. Yeah, I'll start yakking again on the next beer. So yeah, black pour coffee and um, coconut. Yeah, coffee and coconut. I've got a cold still. Yeah, it's not gone. <laughs> it's still there. It's uh, it's, go it's starting to go, but it it's still there. Bloody thing. And now my sons have both got it. Wife will be next. It's a good one. Took me out for six days. Um, yeah, on the nose, beautiful coffee and um, coconut on the nose, chocolatey as well. Right, and good evening. Funnily enough, I ain't got no vodka. Um, both them, tra all them flavours translate into the taste. Very easy going, 6.5%. Gotta be honest, it's tasting like a five percenter. Very easy going. Um, I hope the picture shows up better than it does for me. It look, don't look right for me. It looks very dark. Yeah, I'm on the decking area today. And if the sun pees off, I'll sling the camera angle round so you're not looking at my house. Uh, but at the moment, I'm I'm I'm, dive, I'm dived underneath the um, the bar. Oh, that's good then. Yeah, it's nice that the sun's shining on my fucking head. <laughs> Pardon my French. Um, and the camera's in the wrong place. I'm used to looking at the camera there. So the camera's up there. It's up there. And uh, it's, uh, you, you're talking. And obviously I'm looking at the, the um, chat as well. And the chat's down there. The camera's up there. And it's all in the wrong place. Kind of used to my phone, but... very smooth very smooth on the on on initially nice little bit of bite in the back end very easy drinking i think i paid probably about three quid for this yeah fucking would want the bastard son i could move that bag along let me move the bag along that's it i've got a laundry bag oh that's better yay Awesome. It's lovely when you get a haul of new stuff into it. It's like being a kid in a sweet shop. Oh, it's lovely. It's, it's, it's lovely to be out here. Right. It is going to be a big England day tomorrow. I've got six. Six lagers. I've got three Italian or makeshift Italian. I don't care. And three English. So England versus uh, Italy on the, on the lager front. Six of them to go through. The wife is going to do a blind taste test. In the background of all six. And uh, she'll tell me what she thinks is the best. And she's good with her beer, she, um, with her drinking. She'll she'll give me her honest opinion. So she'll probably turn out to be a better uh, beer reviewer than I am. And uh, I can imagine female beer reviewers being a lot more popular than blokes. Especially, especially the ones that show cleavage and all that. Not that she would, obviously. But, um, yeah. I bet there's some out there that uh, use their sexuality to get further. It's bound to happen. You need to look on Instagram at some of these uh, beer influencers. And it's like, oh. I know Paul's here, but some of, and he's from Castle Rock. Uh, but Castle Rock have done some good stuff this last year. Their little partnership with Attic Brew is really, really paying, paying dividends. Good evening. Oh, it wasn't great. Yeah, that's a shame. Bloody hell. Couldn't pick many English lagers up. I didn't want to pick Carling. Uh, is that classed as English? I've no idea. £100 on Italy to win. Good evening, Steve. I'm just about to end this review, but I am coming back with two more. So if you refresh the channel, you will see them. So yeah, black pour, coffee, chocolate, coconut on the nose. That translates into the taste. A smooth mouthfeel. Quite thick. Long lasting taste. Very nice. Very nice. Decent. Decent for, you know, the supermarket. 6.5% starting to... Um, Cook pizza tomorrow, yeah, yeah, no cooking pizzas. <laughs> but 
So, first beer of the night, certainly not the first beer of the day, but don't tell anyone. Um, I've had a sneaky, a sneaky San Miguel, although the wife did ask me to um, test it before she drank it. Um, out of five, oof, Morrison's this was. Oh, um, yeah, out of five for this. For me, probably about a 4.3 out of 5. I wouldn't say it was amazing, but it, it was okay. It did the job nicely. And uh, and it's vegan as well, for those who like vegan stuff. What supermarket? What for the pizza? Right. Back in two minutes with another review. It won't take me long. As long as I can, it's as quick as I can type. Thank you all for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. It's nice to be doing the things the way I used to do them. Normality. You know, it's uh, it's been a funny old few weeks. Um, some of it my doing and uh, most of it my doing. <laughs> right, cheers all. I've just got to get used to turning this off now. Right, here we go. Right. 